Hi, I'm Neil, and I'm going to be tying um, a little sort of wet fly pattern, a spider pattern um, that I use for trout, but I've also taken sea trout on uh, on these sort of patterns. It's tied on the uh, Freshwater 580, and this one is a size 10, so it's it's the wet fly hook. Time thread is uni thread 80 in brown. And the first material in is just a very fine, light, uh, golden, copper, sort of colored wire. mainly to protect the body materials a little bit better. Tie that one. And try and get your wire to sit on the underside of the hook. Next material is a little bit of flash, a little bit of bling. And this one is the uh, Perdigon's uh, number 35, so again a sort of coppery orange colour. And I'm going to finish the thread just about halfway between the barb and the point of the hook. Wrap up the tinsel, so just a little bit of an eye catching back end to the fly. Trim off. Uh, next material is some brownie olive, sort of natural pheasant tail. And I've just taken about three strands, three hurls. And mixing the man-made with the natural, it's hopefully going to represent a stuck in the shuck sort of approach as well. So a struggling hatching nymph, and then just protect all the body material with the rib. And hopefully that should last a few trout without coming apart. And just helicopter. Wire off. A little bit of dubbing wax. And then I'm going to use uh, a little bit of sooty olives UV uh, dubbing. Not too much. I'm just going to try and create a bit of a dubbing ball which will brush out a little bit to give that sort of halo. So let's see if that's enough. Just remembering to leave enough room because we've got we're gonna put a hackle in at the front. So don't be afraid to ball your dubbing up at the front. Because we can always brush it out a bit. Encourage some of those longer fibers backwards. And then a gentle brush out. And again it's that hopefully struggling insect, stuck, vulnerable look that the trout really find quite attractive. Uh, 
And next material is uh, riding brown hair hen, and it this one is the mottled olive color. One of the first things I like to try and do is gauge whether the hackle is either too long or, or just right by sort of placing it in the uh, up against the actual fly uh, hook eye and really I want the barbs just to be touching about the point of the hook so this one looks really quite spot on. back to the point of the slightly shorter ones and I like this to trim off to try and give a slightly neater tying in. some of those fibers to sit in the direction that you want them to. And pray to the hackle gods and hope that they'll look after you as well. <laughs> there we go. And just encourage some of those fibers to sit the way you want them to. I might have to unwrap this one and have another go. We'll see. Yeah, it's not going to sit. This one's not going to behave. So I'm going to put another one on. So I can just measure up the barb length. And this one's decided to behave. So we'll get it wrapped in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And all that's left to do is. And that's a little wet fly spider 
that will catch your trout and also sea trout. Thank you. Thank you.